Kupac uh, commissioned uh, a wonderful Australian writer, Drusilla Majeska, to write an article on Virginia Woolf for Kupac's Story magazine. Mm -hmm. Of course, her inspiration was Woolf Works, which the Royal Ballet will be performing in our 19, 2017 international series. In the piece she wrote, Virginia Woolf was no dancer, it was her mind that was limber, her mind and her language. As director of the company, were you nervous transforming the works of one of the greatest 20th century writers into a ballet? Yes, it was quite a challenge to think how is Virginia Woolf going to, and her writings going to be sort of made into a dance piece. But actually, Wayne McGregor seemed absolutely the right person to try and tackle that because of the way he uses movement, how he can make uh, something that seems so extreme be also very poetic. And, uh, and I really think the two, uh, not making a full story, so we're not talking about Virginia Woolf from when she was born to when she died. It's taking elements of her life and then also her stories like Mrs. Dalloway, Orlando, The Waves, and combining the two things to then create this overall view of Virginia Woolf. And very lyrical and fluid in, in the three works too. Yes, yes. Um, you were fortunate to have in residence the highly celebrated choreographers as Wayne McGregor, Christopher Wilden, as well as Liam Scarlett. What influence do these creative geniuses have on your company? I think it's brilliant to have uh, choreographers uh, at the heart of a company and we always have had that really because if you think about you know we started off with the you know doing the classical repertoire but soon into the start of the Royal Ballet there was Sir Frederick Ashton then Kenneth Macmillan and so we we've been used to being this company that is always pushing the art form forward and so with you know when I was taking over as director that's something that I really felt we wanted to continue and to really bring to the fore so in the last four years you know we've really been moving forward challenging ourselves challenging audiences and so I'm delighted that we're bringing these two works that are really becoming modern day classics mm -hmm. uh, to Brisbane for the first time we're very excited